guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be filming a video on full face using clearance makeup and I also added some makeup that was on sale for the products that I was having troubles finding um, I went to Ulta Walmart and Target to find this and I hope you guys enjoy this video it's really different and fun so I wanted to do it for you so if you guys want to see that make sure to keep on watching and let's get into it so the first product out of many products is going to be the Maybelline um, Brow Drama Pomade Crown. This is what it looks like. It's very dark and it kind of clings to the hairs. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very small brush and like swipe it and then try and fill them in with brush like strokes. So this product from Maybelline retailed for about $1.99. Um, it was opened on clearance, but it looked like it hadn't been swatched yet, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. So I'm just going to be taking my mirror and just do how my bra, how, my bra, how I normally do my brows. So I'm just going to go underneath and then go back in. And, and I tried to grab products that I don't normally would gravitate, gravitate to or use or haven't used so this is kind of like a first impression type of thing so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now I noticed that this product is very dark it does blend in with my eyebrows pretty well but it's a little waxy and it kind of clings to the brow hair still but maybe that's good because maybe it'll last longer so we're just gonna keep filling them in Also from Walmart, I got the uh, Milani eyeshadow primer. This is in nude, and this is normally $5.99, and I got it for $4.99, so it was a dollar cheaper. So I went ahead and just picked it up because I don't, I've never tried an eyeshadow primer. I just normally use concealer, but I have really oily lids, so hopefully this will help keep it on. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very cute. And sleek okay so it is a little squeezy tube I, I don't know why I thought there was gonna be an applicator inside all right so I don't know I'm just gonna use that much I don't really know how much to use I guess so should I, I'll just use my finger so it kind of feels a little oily it almost reminds me of the hard candy eyeshadow primer from that come in those little weird packages thingies does anybody know what i'm talking about Ooh, that's too much too much too much but i do feel like a little bit does go a long way all right and then moving on to eyeshadow i have this little um it's a sunlit bronze. This is what the palette is called. It is from Maybelline and it comes with these four shades. Now this was gift to me, but it was on sale at the store. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and use what I have instead of buying a whole new one. Because I, I don't think I've used this one on my channel, so why not? So I'm actually gonna use um, the, let's see. I'm gonna start with the liner part just to add in the crease to give my eyes a little bit of definition now all the shades and this is shimmery so let's see how well this works out so I'm just gonna go ahead and use a wet n wild fluffy brush and Lord knows I need to clean my brushes desperately so I'm just gonna go ahead and take ugh, and take this shade right here and we're gonna try working this into the crease so I'm gonna go ahead and look down so you guys have like a full like angle of it um, it kind of mostly glitter but we're not giving up we're not giving up okay on camera does look like I do have a little bit of a definition to it I'm just trying to build it. Maybe let's try finger. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the fingers. So maybe if I like smooth this baby out. 
<laughs> this isn't working. This does not, this looks good on camera, but in person it just looks glittery. So I've been blending for like the last 10 minutes and I think I got some, a little bit of, oh, uh, blah, 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 something. A little bit of something. Ugh. Honestly, I would pass. So I'm gonna be using the Luxie 239 Precision Shading Brush. This is what it looks like. And I think I'm gonna do kind of like an ombre. So I'm gonna start with the darker shade right here. And this is step number three. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this darker shade and I'm gonna start patting it with that brown, that glittery brown. It's not really showing up that much. Go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. And then, I guess I'll just take the same brush. I just cleaned it off my pant leg. Whoops. And we're gonna go in with shade number two, which is this one. So we're just gonna go, go in with that shade. Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. Yeah, I'm not digging this. And then I guess I'm just gonna be taking, oh my God, my eye. I'm just gonna take this vanity brush. This is a flat synthetic brush. I'm just gonna take some of that number one shade. And I guess we're just gonna, ooh, that's not that bad actually. We're gonna place that over both because hot mess up in here. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I have fallout all over my face. Like, oh my God, this glitter is gonna be so hard to get off. So moving along to the eyelashes, I actually found this Total Tease. Um, this is a mascara from CoverGirl. It was 558, it says it's new and it's full long refined for dense long lashes. So this is what it looks like and this is in the, sh I didn't get black mascara. I got deep blue. Oh my God. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? Why would I get blue mascara? Oh my God. This is what it looks like. It actually looks like really good packaging. Oh my God, please tell me. Oh my God, what did I do? God dang it. All right, guess what going is blue. I can't even tell. I cannot believe I grabbed blue mascara. It doesn't even look blue. I still honestly cannot believe I grabbed blue mascara. Like why didn't I read it? Oh my God, but it's whatever. Okay, so it doesn't really look blue except for like down on my lower lashes. You could kind of tell where it is a little blue, but it doesn't look that bad actually. Like I feel like I could wear this out and be comfortable wearing it. And um, it made my eyelashes look pretty. You can actually see them on the camera and it doesn't look that bad. So hopefully we're, you know, make it, <laughs> it'll pass the test. So next I'm gonna be actually going in with the Maybelline, is this the just prime? It's the Blur and Illuminate. This was $5.58 and I got this from Target. It says it, um, it, it has sunscreen in it, SPF 30. This is also from Maybelline. It visibly blurs tones and perfections and smooths the skin surface. Um, prime skin for illuminated start, lightweight, non-oily formula. Um, does not clog pores. It just says wear alone or under makeup to refine um, that. So I guess it comes does come sealed. So that's good. 
fumey. Okay, it kind of looks white. I don't know how much to put on. So we're gonna put a little bit. It kind of smells like watermelon-ish. Yeah, that arm going crazy. That's a cute little have that moment. Okay, so it feels pretty good and I feel like it, it went in really quick. It does give a nice natural glow, but I think you kind of do need to use a lot. All right guys, so now moving on to Ulta. I think that is almost it for Target. And then we have one more product left from Walmart. Actually two products from Walmart. But um, this is from Ulta and this is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Long Matte um, Foundation in the shade Ivory. This is actually a lot smaller than I thought. Normally this foundation is either 10, 11, it's either 10 to $13, but it was on sale for $7 on their website, so I went ahead and picked this up. I also got this Hello Halo Mega Glow from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade 304 Halo Goodbye. Um, this was at Walmart for sale. Um, it was on sale for a dollar nine a dollar something a dollar ninety nine probably I think it's also a glass bottle this is what it looks like it's really nice this is more of a pinky gold and hello goodbye this is a big freaking applicator what the heck Ew. moist all right so I guess I just point it high points of my face I don't really know how much to put on It doesn't really have a smell. All right, so I guess we'll just leave it at that. So let's pat it out. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge just to blend that in. It does leave a nice, beautiful sheen. It doesn't really feel that oily, so I guess I'll just go like that. Be a tin man. A lot does go a long way, so you definitely don't need to put that much on. Um, it does kind of dry quickly, so put it on in sections. Alright guys, so now moving on to Ulta. I think that is almost it for Target. And then we have one more product left from Walmart. Actually, two products from Walmart. But, um... This is from Ulta, and this is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Long Matte um, Foundation in the shade Ivory. This is actually a lot smaller than I thought. Normally, this foundation is either 10, 11, it's either 10 to $13, but it was on sale for $7 on their website. So I went ahead and picked went ahead and actually wrapped the um, packaging off of it. And it's very nice. It has that frosted glass. It is a glass bottle. The cap is matte and it does come off and you do have a pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start pumping this. This is the shade Ivory. Their color range isn't the best, so if you're a deeper skin tone, you might want to not get this foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead, I put a little, a little bit, cause I don't really know how much to put. Ooh, ooh, is that too light? We did go, to, we took um, my dad's dog to the beach and he is a husky. So I did get a little bit of sun, surprisingly. And, oh my god, this might be too white. Oh crap. I think this is too white for me. That's a first. But maybe once I put powder on it and stuff like that, it will not be so white. Not so white on me. Once I start bronzing, bronzing the skin. I don't know. It seems to be blending out pretty nicely. It It's actually covering up my freckles, which is really surprising. Because not a lot of foundations do cover my freckles. And I also, oh, I look like a ghost. <laughs> Casper the ghost over here. 
Alright. Okay, so, so far it doesn't look that bad actually. It feels really nice on the skin. Like, it feels velvety and almost like non-existent. Like, I feel like I have nothing on my skin, which is really good. Um, it blends into the skin really nicely. It's not creasing yet. It almost has like that powder finish. And I really like it actually. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's very pretty. And let's see if it, what it smells like. It smells like paint, like paint you put on the wall. Okay. So um, it does come with a huge freaking applicator. So I guess we'll just place this. Um, it's very thick. Let's do one eye at a time. Cause that's thick, that's thick, honey. Honey, 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 honey. Okay, not too bad. I feel like that just made me look even whiter. But that cover is so good. What the frick? I'm amazed. All right, guys. So the next product that we have is actually going to be the Butter Bronzer. I do currently have one, but it is smashed. So I went ahead and picked up another one. Ulta was having a deal where it was buy one, get one, 50% off. So I went ahead and picked up a blush for $7. And this is in the shade Natural Glow, and this is in the shade Bronze. So I went ahead and did that. So let's go ahead and bronze real quick. So this is what the Butter Bronzer looks like. It has a little clasp right there that you open. And this is what it looks like. It smells amazing. I love the design. And then this actual pan right here comes out, and then there is a mirror right here and a little sponge but i'm gonna leave that in there for now i'm gonna go ahead and take my oh wet and wild brush this is just their contouring one that i got from the dollar tree that works like a freaking mm. i don't know what i would do without it we're gonna go ahead and bronze right underneath that bake because i look pale 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 oh i just got that in my hair We're gonna go under the jaw. Next thing we're gonna, we're gonna do is gonna be using the Butter Blush, and this is from Physician Formulas 2. This is the one I got for $7, and this is in Natural Glow. I've never used one of their blushes, so. So, same thing. It does come. Whoop! It does come up, has a mirror underneath, and then a little multi-colored little sponge underneath of it brush and it doesn't have any number or anything this is what it looks like and i'm just gonna go ahead and swirl it has a smell but i can't describe it does that make any sense wait is this supposed to be a highlight because it's just kind of glowy like, I don't feel like it's a straight up blush. Like, I feel like it's just glowing, glowing from within. Maybe it's supposed to be not a blush. Man, I picked the wrong color. Next step is gonna be using the Mega Last from What and Wild. This is their liquid cat tubes, and this is in the shade uh, Toffee Talk. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. This is what it looks like it has like a little divot for your lip to go. Oh my god, let's start. So this is the shade, um, that's well, not really what I was expecting, but, um, it's very pretty, it feels very comfortable on the lips, now I do look like I'm dead, and, um, this would be good for fall, but it was on sale, and it was like $1.92, and I was like, why not, but that was not what I was expecting. It's All right, guys, so that is going to be the end of today's clearance on sale video. Um, this definitely went a different direction than what I thought it was going to go into, but, um, I think it did turn out, I would say skip the eyeshadow palette, 
get the right colored mascara. The mascara is good, just the wrong color. And um, I think my foundation needs to be a, a shade darker. And the powder worked really nice. Um, I like the cat suits, but I don't like this color. It's too dark for me. Maybe, I mean, we're going into fall. I mean, we're going into summer, not fall. And I look like I just dived into fall and I don't like it. But yeah. Bronzer is a yay. The foundation looks really nice. It's not um, lifting or anything, which is really good. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Maybe I'll do another video like this. Maybe just one store instead of doing all, all of them. So if you guys want to see a video like that, make sure to thumbs it up. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. And remember, you guys are beautiful.